I think it's understood at quite a high level in the organization how important this is. So I think the director understands very well and I think the deputy director understands very well and I think my director understands that this is really a kind of transformational moment. And in addition, our board of trustees includes a number of people who really feel very strongly that this is an area um, where the museum's mission is actually going to be played out in a way that in a way that historically it's always been seen that the, you know, the, the physical gallery is the place where the, the organization's mission happens. Um, but I think, I think that now it, it, it's understood throughout the organization that the web offers that as well. And so I feel very lucky to work there. I mean, which doesn't say that it's an easy job or an easy thing to do, because it isn't. Um, and I think one of the... One of the things that, that, that's come up a lot today at the conference is, uh, certainly in this morning session around digital strategy, is, is what, what is the position of digital in the museum? Where does it sit? And if you talk to different people from different organizations, you find that, that it's in many different places. Some people it's within the business department, some it's within marketing, some it's within the IT department, some of which in some places it's within a kind of engagement or kind of audiences department, as in, as in our case. Uh, but, but one of the things that we're finding is that kind of three years ago, you know, when we developed our digital strategy, or two years ago, that the, the territory has changed a lot since then. So at that point, when, when our digital st strategy was developed, it's really at, at its heart just a list of all the things that we hate about our old website. <laughs> So it's a, in a way, it was, it was a way of trying to get money to build a new one, and thankfully we were successful in that. Well, I think what you see now is that, or uh, well, certainly we experience, is that all the other departments in the organisation, in their strategy, now has digital as part of it. So if you think about the interpretation department or the learning department, you know they're starting to look at the web as a way that they can fulfil their strategic ambitions. And I think it goes—I mean—it goes far beyond that. The research department are interested in, you know, developing communities of interest online and, and proliferation of the materials that they produce far and wide. Even the human resources department are looking at the web and thinking, well, how can we not just do online recruitment, but how can we build a pool of people who are interested in tape that when we have jobs and, and other opportunities that we want to, you know, try and pull the best talent to the organization that those people know about us and they know about what we do. Um, and out of that comes a challenge which is that the web strategy both has to fulfill all of their individual goals and ambitions but also have its own direction. Um, so that's one strategy is like how do we stop ourselves from just spending all of our time and energy and resources kind of servicing everybody else how, you know because we're the people that know the opportunities that are arising and we, we need to kind of communicate those back to the people uh, the second the second challenge which is in a way more complicated and is more about organizational change is that when you talk to those different departments and these are departments, I mean, all, these organizations are very siloed. They, they are, they're often thinking very, in a very narrow way just about their ambitions, and they don't generally collaborate in the digital space, is that when you talk to them, actually, a lot of what they're trying to achieve is very similar. You know, the different departments are very similar to each other, and they're even using the same language. So if you talk about, oh, we want, we want to create something that's more engaging. Well, firstly, what does that mean? And, and the second thing is, well, the marketing department is saying that because they're moving from simply creating brands and, and uh, commissioning posters from designers and, and then putting them on the public transport system so that people see them, to, to doing things that are more about engaging with people using social media. Then we talk to the learning department. They, they want to move from a model that's just publishing learning resources to one that's more about engaging and audiences doing and, and, and actually contributing and developing and uh, new meanings to the artworks, quite literally, from their activity. Uh, those two things are actually not that different from each other, and yet the goal of one, the goal of the marketing department, the goal of the learning department are very different. Um, so in a way, that it, it's kind of, the because the digital space really doesn't respect any of those departmental boundaries, and in our website relaunch, we've made a conscious effort to kind of break down 
the, the structure of the, the old website, which was really structured around the organization, to the point where you could probably take a, a, a map of the organization and a map of the website and put them on top of each other and it would be like tracing paper, to something that's much more user-centered and user-focused, suddenly the, the places where these ambitions of these different departments are going to be played out are the same spaces. So projects which are developed need input from the marketing department and the learning department, for example. Um, or, to, or to take another example, you know, we need to change the way people think about the website. So if you speak to people in the fundraising department, I mean, typically or traditionally what they would say is, well, we want, to, we want a button on the homepage that says donate. But of course, that's not, you know, that some people will, that will serve some people's goals. The people who want to donate will click on the button. But actually, what they want is more donations. So really, that, you know, often people come to us and they, they have a solution. But really what we prefer is that they come to us with a problem and we'll, we'll look at other people's problems and challenges and we'll kind of draw them together. So really what they need is for the communications of the organization more broadly to talk about how the museum is funded, what are the things it does and, and how you can support that. And that's not as easy as putting a button in one place. That's about changing how the organization talks about the museum. Um, and talks about itself. So these things are like these are things are much more complicated. They are much more about you know, kind of moving more slowly, having more conversations, bringing people who are you know uh, who are coming with an idea of what what they want, and kind of persuading them that this is you know they need to move in a slightly different direction. So if you look at the way that social media is handled in tech, when it was started. It started in the digital department. And so if you take, for example, why, is, why do we have the name twitter.com slash Tate? And actually Tate is quite a hard name to get in social media because in, in America there's a lot of people called Tate. And so and it's because someone in the web department, when we, when we kind of saw Twitter coming, went on and registered the name. He was very interested in Twitter as it kind of first emerged, and so he grabbed the name Tate for us. But if you look now, and so it was run from within the web department at first, but now the social media is run by a kind of group of people that spans the web department, the communications department, the, um, and the marketing department, and also it's extending into um, things like the magazine department. But I think in the years to come, thing, things like Twitter and, and these other digital tools will exist across the organization, and it will become, you know, in five years' time, it'll be a kind of slightly, you know, people will look back at this moment and say, oh, well, you know, remember how we used to think that it was where did digital sit? But of course, digital sits everywhere. And, uh, you know, in our web strategy, we talk about, you know, we, we need to move from this idea, we used to speak about the website as the fifth gallery. The idea being that the, the kinds of things that happened in the galleries could also happen in this fifth virtual space. Whereas, which was that we produced things and we put them, we made them accessible. But now we're starting to talk about it as a, as a, a kind of dimension of everything that we do. Uh, and that's a kind of complicated thing to do and a really challenging thing to undertake because it's a, we have to kind of change the way that the organization works. Um, and so what we're seeing now is a lot more kind of cross-departmental groups. Uh, and, you know, that, that are kind of grouping together around projects. And often those are, and we're now very much involved in those kinds of discussions in a way that perhaps we wouldn't have been in the past. So a fundraising campaign may have had a piece of branding and a piece of print around it. That would have been a discussion between the fundraising department and the marketing department and the design studio. Now we're involved in those discussions and they're different kinds of discussions because they're about, well, how do you, how, how, are we gonna, how is this going to look on our website? How is it going to play on social media? How is it going to be in email bulletins? What's its lifetime? What kind of IT infrastructure and systems do we need to do to support that? What is its life cycle? When does it end? What does success look like? Um, and those require different kinds of skills, both within our department, 
because these people need to be paired up with digital producers, be they ones from within Tate or ones working for our digital agencies. And they also need, the people working within the organization need to have a kind of, they need to have a, a better understanding of the tools and the technologies. So in, so in a way, it kind of, things need to move a little bit more slowly and a, bit, a little bit more thoughtfully, and there needs to be more kind of conversations around what the opportunities are.